Hello and welcome to another session of Brick Therapy. Today I am reviewing set 6253. This is the Shipwreck Hideout. Released in 2009, it went for around $40 when it was brand new. Today, this set is probably worth somewhere around $200, but I'm gonna open it and we're gonna play with it. Before we open it, let's take a look. It says there's 310 pieces. It comes with six minifigures. Actually, for me, I only consider it five minifigures because the skeleton is really useless to me, uh, but I guess it's considered a, a minifig. Online, it said that this set was exclusive to Toys R Us. I don't see anything on the package that says it's a Toys R Us exclusive. And usually Toys R Us always puts that on their packages. But it does say limited edition. Let's check out the back. On the back we have the play features and it shows some kind of a swinging ax, looks like a firing cannon, a turning wheel, and a bridge that you know flips over. Oh, and down here it looks like you could throw the trash out. Might be a toilet. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Right inside we have three bags, the instruction manual, the pirate flag, looks like one of the mass pieces. Supposedly this tan rope bridge is unique only to this set. Right, let's take a minute to put it together and we'll talk about it. Alright, this is set 6253, Shipwreck Hideout. Let's take a closer look at the minifigs first. I think we've seen all these minifigures before. Starting over here, we have the Imperial Guards or the Imperial Red Coats with the faces that we've seen before. And then Captain Brickbeard, of course, he's sporting the exact same outfit. We have a female pirate with an eye patch. If you look over here, her eye patch is on the opposite side from Captain Brickbeard. So actually when they're face to face, they can see eye to eye. You have pirate, I guess, and a skeleton wearing a bicorn hat. On the back, because these are the newer sets, so there's back printing on each of the minifigs that have a torso, excluding the skeleton, but no second face. I want to mention the skeleton. He has like the newer arms that we also saw from the advent calendar where it only has the forward and reverse movement. The ones that I'm used to or the ones that I used to collect, they were on like a little ball and the arms were like very floppy so it couldn't hold anything. These I guess can actually hold stuff. If they're skeletons they should be kind of floppy right? Let's take a quick look at this imperial boat. It's just a rowboat. It has the two white oars, the blue boat itself, and the imperial red flag. So this one's interesting because, first of all, there's no base plate. This white base plate I just have here, but it comes with really no base plate. You have a small 6x6 blue plate. This is a 12 by 12 base plate made up of two 6x12 plates. And as you can see, the bridge can be angled at almost any angle from, I guess, here all the way back here. I guess the, the steering wheel for the ship is in the way, but you can put it at any angle you want. It's not fixed. Looking over here, it has a gold chest that is kind of a gold color. And inside you have four gems and it's supposed to be four pieces of gold. But I didn't want to take it off its spruce, so it's not in there now. And it has this, I guess this is supposed to be a protection to the gold so no one takes it, but it's limited because it does not go fully around. It should be a surprise where it comes out and just chops off someone's head, right? But it doesn't. So one of the play features is this table that rotates out and you have a stack of three skulls that you can put down the chute. And the chute really just comes out the front. And if this is in water, 
it's just going in the water. So it's basically just a poop chute. Maybe, you know, it's just a hole in the back where they can sit and do a number two or one. Like you do have a table with a map, but this room is so small that there's no place to either stand. I guess you can stand the minifig up here in the corner, but it's very small. You'd have to remove this part and this to be able to access this inner room. So because of this shoot system down here, it takes up what could have been another room that they could have stored goods or uh, had beds or something. But instead, this is like a useless space. You only have like, like a two stud wide on each side. There's not much you can put in there. Coming to this side, you have the steering wheel of the ship that I guess is shipwreck. It comes with a sword. And then we get to this bridge play feature. So it's crossing the rope bridge and you had someone on this side that can pull the pin and the minifig would fall into the water or something. The thing that's missing is a shark or alligator to eat the fallen soldiers, right? Otherwise, they're in the tropics, so it's just like going swimming. It's not a big deal. One of the things missing is, how do they climb up here? I guess they can climb up this pole, especially up to the uh, crow's nest. There's no way to really get up there easily. So I was thinking, if we got one of these pieces, you can add it, the side here, like this, and it allows them to climb not only to the bridge, but to the crow's nest if they wanted to. And up here, we have a firing cannon, the only defense for the island, other than the small arms. And that's basically it. The set does come with three animals so to speak you have a crab you have a fish and a parrot so basically you have seafood and poultry so the ship hull pieces have this technique connector that will allow it to just like be the, the frame of a sunken ship maybe and then you have the island separate so that's kind of cool if you don't want it to be one long thing where it looks like the boat was crashed on the rock and just have it like sunken in the water. I want to show you something that I saw in these instruction books and I saw it in the others also I just didn't really mention it. They have comics. There's no words so I guess it's you know for international. And I think there's more. Who knows. I also show you some of the other sets that came out in the 2009 lineup. Okay this is my review of set 6253 Shipwreck Hideout. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next session of Brick Therapy. Take care.